Ho, ho, ho. Do you know what's coming up, Brad? Christmas. Christmas is coming up, and we want you all to be prepared. So t stay tuned for some advice on how to do so. Hello, and welcome to our next episode of Smart Money. We are talking about something that everybody loves today, Brad. Absolutely, Christmas. The Christmas season is rapidly approaching. The kiddos are back in school, yep. right? And that means we're four months out from everybody's or mostly everybody's favorite holiday. Yeah, right. The holiday season, where you're, whether you're celebrating Christmas or Hanukkah, it's gift giving time, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely right. And you know what gifts mean? cash. Right, exactly. Right? Yep. And hopefully they don't mean you're going back into debt. So why don't you give us some some a little bit about yeah. what, what people are doing out there these days for Christmas yeah, and for absolutely. the holidays. Right. So I want to share a statistic with you real quick. So according to the American Research Group, Americans are likely to spend we're, we're likely to spend $929 last year in 2016 on Christmas gifts. That's the average. Um, so this year, they're saying that it's probably going to push that $1,000 mark. Now, again, we're talking about just the average. So what does that mean? That means there's people spending more than $1,000, and there's also people spending less than $1,000. But most people couldn't afford a $500 emergency if their car broke down. So yeah. what does that mean for a lot of people? That means for a lot of people, we're going to be going into debt to afford our Christmas expenses, and that's not where we want to go. Right? Yeah. So we want to have to make sure we get a plan. Also, Christmas and the holidays, I want you to know, are not an emergency. All right? So we talk a lot about building an emergency fund. And I have to remind people that I work with and tell them, hey, listen, just because now you've done all this great work, you've got this great emergency put together, Christmas isn't an emergency. You know that it happens every year. December 25th, every yeah. single year, it doesn't change. Mm. So, you know, it's mind boggling to me where people say, you know, Christmas just kind of snuck up on me. Mm. Well, I really didn't. You just didn't really plan properly for it. So that's what you need to make sure is that don't treat it like an emergency and dive into your emergency fund savings or even worse, like a retirement savings. Don't take a loan out on your 401k to afford this stuff. That's all bad news. And especially we don't want to use debt. So now that we're four months out, Let's start planning and preparing for Christmas the right way and use cash. And I know that it doesn't sneak up on some people because some people have the Christmas music playing in their house <laughs> the day after Labor Day. Yeah, right. Right? It's crazy. So, you know, and there's a lot of pressures out there that come along with the holiday season. Yeah, right. right. Let's talk about some of those pressures. Yeah, right? and there's another statistic. 43% of Americans feel pressure to spend more on Christmas according to the SunTrust Bank holiday financial confidence survey. So this is a company that will go out and do a financial confidence survey during the holidays, and they say 43% are feeling the pressure. Well, why are they feeling that pressure? Well, society, friends, family feeling that pressure, but they're also feeling that pressure because of the marketing messages that we see on debt, the marketing messages <laughs> we see on just collecting and buying stuff. I mean, there's where the pressure's coming from. So tune a lot of that stuff out, Make sure you stay away from a lot of that stuff and you won't feel, feel nearly as much pressure. And a lot of these companies are putting a lot into this marketing F campaign, oh, a ton. right? Yeah. They're spending a lot of money because they know it makes them a lot of money. So yes. don't be one of those people that is hooked by that, yeah, right? Absolutely. So let's talk about some of the steps or the things that we're going we're gonna to do to prepare for the holiday season. Number one. Number one, and we've talked about it before and we talk about it a lot, is if you haven't done a budget, now is the perfect <laughs> time to start doing a budget, right? So yeah. like Chris said, we got four months. So that means you've got four months to start preparing a monthly budget every single month. So that way you can start planning some extra money to put aside to afford those Christmas presents. Now is the best time to start. And a budget's also going to help you determine how much money you can afford to spend on Christmas. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of people, even me, myself at one time, you know, we'd get into the Christmas season and it's like, I gotta buy for all these people, but I have no money, how much, no idea how much money I'm gonna spend and you go out and spend it anyways. And before we know it, the middle of January rolls up, it's a brand new year and you got brand new credit card bills in the mail. 
and a budget is going to prevent a lot of that from happening. And you know what isn't an unknown in a lot of these people's budget is how much income is going to come into their life between now and the holiday season. Yeah, absolutely. But that is the great thing about the pure romance business, right? We can look here four months out and say, okay, my income is not going to meet my needs that I need to make those Christmas purchases or those holiday yeah. purchases in cash. How many parties do I need to do? Exactly. Right? How many more parties do I need to have on the books? Right. Do I need to have a flash sale? What do I need to do here to make sure that I have the cash in, in my personal financial situation to make these purchases in cash so I'm not using debt? I'm not ruining other parts of my budget. I'm not going into my savings account. Absolutely. Right. Yep. And that's one reason I love working with Pure Romance Consultants because a lot of the other people outside, they don't necessarily have that opportunity, at least not right away. And Pure Romance Consultants that are in the business, you have an excellent way to make the extra money that you're looking for and get this money into your budget to have for Christmas. So the second point here, Brad, is that just like St. Nick and just like everyone else who buys presents, we need to make our list. Yeah, absolutely. Right. right. Yeah, we need to make a list and check it twice. So now is the time. Right now, not when you get to Christmas, but right now, how many people and who are you buying for? So friends, family, you know, if you're anything like my wife, we get the mailman something, we get the garbage man something. And, you know, it's, it's okay that you want to buy these people things or get them things. Just make a list now. And, you know, that money that we budgeted for, eventually that money is going to run out. And there's a potential risk there that we may not be able to buy everybody something. Yeah. So we have to make a tough choice. We either don't buy them something or we get them something, maybe our time or something that doesn't cost a lot of money like cards, things like that. Yeah. And the marketing out there is going to make you want to overspend on those top couple people on your on your list, right? Yeah. And knowing that if we do run out of funds, then we're out, you know? And we right. can always make someone a nice card or spend time with them like you've said, right? Right. right. Um, and that's really what the holiday season is really about. Um, so the next piece is you know, the holiday season is not just an exchange of gifts, right? Right. right. There's a whole lot of other things going on, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. A lot of things that we tend to just kind of forget about, like, say, travel expenses. You know, if you plan on maybe just even doing a lot more driving around, you're going to activities, you're going to dinner parties, you're going to holiday activities, whatever it might be, that right there might be extra gas expense. And if you're on a tight budget, those are things that you need to be aware of. You know, if you're doing travel outside of your city, if you're going places, there's travel involved there. So make mm -hmm. sure you have plans for those things. A big one for a lot of people during the holiday season is obviously meals, if you like to bake, if you like to do any of those things. Also, we talk about this a lot, but more than likely your schedule is going to get busy. So that means what? Meal planning and grocery shopping, probably not going to be as high on the list as we would like them to be. So we're probably going to be eating out more. And I get it. That's just the holidays. But just have a plan for it. Put it in your budget and make sure you know how much you're going to be spending there. And once we've made this list, Brad, we just, we're going to decide on the items that we're going to buy them or have some idea, right? Yeah. And then we're going to keep an eye on those items out there. Yeah, right? absolutely. And how are we going to do that? Yeah, I mean, the, the beautiful thing about starting early, and, and again, I, I know it's hard to think about Christmas when it's nice out, it's warm out, nobody wants, especially where I'm from in Wisconsin, nobody wants to think about snow and cold yet. But, you know, now is the time to start looking for the best deals. Now, you potentially could wait until, like, you know, the typical Black Friday shopper. You might get your best deals then. But, you know, a lot of people also have great luck on finding deal, deals throughout the year. You know, they put these some of these things on clearance. They're able to stock up on coupons, whatever it might be, and they're able to get even better deals throughout the year. Yeah, and it's, it's no different than going to the grocery store when you're hungry, right? Yeah, right. You don't want to go in during holiday season when you don't have a plan and pretty soon there's things in your cart you didn't intend on buying and you're at the cash register and you've blown your budget. Absolutely, right. right. And we don't want to be in that situation. Yeah. We want to be very, have that plan be mindful. Yeah. And right? a, another great way is, you know, you get to actually enjoy the holiday season because maybe you did your, a lot of your shopping early, right? And you mm -hmm. actually don't have to hustle around and fight all the crowds and the malls and the shopping stores and all that stuff. So yeah, I mean, having that plan early is, is key. Yeah. yeah. So again, I just want to say, you know, we're four months out, right? And four months is never too late to start looking at this. I mean, actually, it's plenty of time, especially with the opportunity that the Pure Romance business gives you, yeah. right? 
I mean, think about it. even if you're having a $500 party average, you're making 40%, that's $200. To get to that $1,000 you need that the average family is spending on Christmas, that's five parties. Yeah. How can I add five parties to my schedule between now and the, the 23rd, or the right. 20th, yep. right? Of Absolutely, December. right. So, you know, and, and lastly, I think we want to talk about too, Brad, is the holidays are not just all about gift no. giving yeah. and receiving, are yeah. they? Not at all. And, you know, that's one thing that, you know, was surprising to me as I got my financial life in order. You know, the less I actually thought about stuff and needing stuff and needing things. And there's a lot of other people that go through the same process, even some people in roofs that have kind of felt that same experience. Like, now that they understand what their money could do for them in their future and the opportunities that it could provide them, they understand that a lot of this stuff really is just a distraction and it's really not the payoff that they think it is. Yeah. Um, and the same thing goes for Christmas, you know? Um, and this is a hard thing that my wife has trouble with because she'll ask me what I want. I'll just tell her nothing because Christmas is about just spending time with my family and hanging out. And I don't need anything because I have everything that I need. Um, but, you know, in this day and age, we talked about it. You know, we kind of feel that pressure that we have to buy things for people and things like that. And it's okay to give gifts, but just make sure you've got the money to do it. I don't want to see you go into debt and start out the new year with brand new debt that you didn't necessarily have to incur. Well, I'll tell you what, Brad, all you need to get me for Christmas is a hug. How about that? <laughs> Absolutely. Right. And same goes for you, <laughs> ladies. I hope you learned something here. Let's plan for the holiday season. Let's make sure that, you know, we're making everyone on our list happy, but we're doing it responsibly. We're doing it within our budget. We're not hurting ourselves going into the next year and yeah. putting ourselves behind, putting ourselves in more debt, because then we've got to get out of that again. Right. And we're on kind of the hamster wheel, right? Yeah, absolutely. So thank you for joining us. Have a great day and have a wonderful evening. Hi ladies, Chris Postler and Brad Nelson. I'm sure you've heard about our world-renowned show, Smart Money, <laughs> but we wanted to come back and talk about Brad's new, improved version of the Roots Financial Coaching Class. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, Roots of Personal Finance is really everything that you're going to need to completely change your financial future. We have now, over the past year, helped consultants all over the United States and in Canada save and pay off hundreds of thousands wow of dollars. Yeah, amazing success. And you too can have this success just like all of these other consultants have had. You know, a lot of people struggle with money and debt, and that's not something that you need to be ashamed of, but it's something that you really you need to realize that, you know, it's time to get this stuff under control so that you can have a successful future and enjoy what you do for a living. So Roots of Personal Finance is going to walk you through everything that you need to know. We're going to talk about things like behavior, budgeting, saving, eliminating debt, insurance. Not only that, but you get a the Roots community, which is a community of all of our members that are encouraging and helping each other along the way. These have been people that have walked in the steps, they've signed up for the course for the first time, and now they're gonna be there to help and support you along your journey. You are not alone in this. This is like a group of like-minded people all working towards a common goal to fix their finances. We also have group live coaching calls every single week, not only for general topics about personal finance, but we also have topics about peer romance as well. We have one monthly live meetup that we do where consultants can come and bring their business finances and we can talk about them. He's right, ladies. There's been a great number of success stories coming out of the Roots program. We even filmed a whole Smart Money show about it. So check out the information and join up into the group. We hope that you have a great success.